Today we are going to be talking about something a little bit unique. This is a single double point sling by Imperial Paracord. And what I think is unique about it is that it integrates this serious weave. I'm not entirely sure what weave this is. Uh, I think it's a double cover weave. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really know a whole lot about weaving paracord, so I can't really tell you a lot. But I do know that this is approximately 100 feet of paracord in this backbone here, um, which I think is very unique. It's very rigid in the uh, in the backbone. <clears throat> a lot, there's a lot to talk about on this particular sling, as you can see. Uh, and I was contacted by Imperial Paracord, do a review of this, and do a critique. You know, product development kind of kind of stuff. So, what I'd like to do is uh, go ahead and start with things that I think could probably use a little bit of improvement, and then we'll transition to things that are done very, very solid on this particular rig. For comparative purposes, I'm going to go ahead and roll in something that I consider to be pretty much the benchmark of a sling design. This is currently early 2014. This is, uh, by comparison, a Savvy Sniper sling uh, circa 2011. So what we'll go ahead and do is start at the attachment point of the sling. Uh, they offer a couple different options. Uh, I had mine set up in H&K configuration, which uh, are just these H&K hooks. I prefer those, but that's a personal preference sort of thing. Uh, but uh, by comparison, I'm going to roll in the, the competitor real quick. You can see that there is a detachment point here via this buckle on the Savvy Sniper Sling. That will allow you to unclip your weapon if you so desire. The Imperial Paracord Sling has a ring attachment here uh, that could be extended to integrate uh, a buckle system off of that uh, ring that could allow uh, integration of a QD uh, buckle like that. So one of the great things about this backbone that they have set up here is it terminates in a steel ring and that's going to keep that thing from uh, unraveling on you uh, should the sling become damaged. So this is my uh, the, my next critique would be I really wish that both sides of the sling terminated in that same steel ring because this plastic buckle yes it's it seems to be a pretty high quality plastic buckle I've put my body weight on it it did fine uh, but I would like to see this be steel because the great thing about this is this rugged backbone but it doesn't do you any good if you shatter this buckle here and that whole thing unravels. Now also integrating that ring, the other reason that I think that, that is important um, and one of the things that really bothers me about this particular sling is this is a left or right handed sling. If you integrate another ring on this side you can now integrate a buckle forward of that and make this sling completely ambidextrous. It's already one size fits all, but you can make that so that one of the most irritating things is when I'm trying to throw my rifle on real quick and I throw the sling over backwards and I have to dick around with it, getting it back into the correct position. Whereas if you integrate a ring right there, you can be fully ambidextrous and, uh, and have even, you could even have the same hardware on both sides if you so desired. Now what is really good about this is this is a single double point sling, so this setup can be run all the way open in two point like so or it can be reattached and and uh, reconfigured to a single point sling by simply attaching back to that uh, center ring there. Um, I usually do the best to beat the heck out of everything that I touch and that allows me to give a very objective review of the uh, product itself and really this product is fine. Um, we took it out for a day of testing at the VSO compound and as you guys know, surviving a day of training at the VSO compound, saying something. Now, that said, 
it was a moderate day of training. So we decided to stress test it as well. We did a couple different things to it, and the the product performed just fine. There were no issues to to really report, um, and we did not baby this point right here. We did not baby this, uh, and it didn't break. I actually like rigid a little bit more rigidity in my uh, backbone of my sling than um, than elasticity. For instance, this uh, Savvy Sniper has a lot of elastic in there, and I equate that, uh, at least in my personal preferences, that this is like doing a band workout at the gym. That rifle's bouncing back and forth on this sling, and it's generating tension on your shoulders. More, This is more continuous tension, and uh, it's more predictable as far as the, uh, the way the weapon system is going to react uh, when it's hanging from a stiff point instead of something that's that gives. Now that's a matter of personal preference, but I find that my shoulders get tired when I use this. But of course I'm also, you know, a lot of times running a plate carrier with plates in it. And, you know, water and medical and communications and I could go on. But, uh, you know, that's, your mileage may vary. Um, solid adjustment right here. Uh, I played with the adjustment points. Uh, I played with the adjustment uh, quite a bit while I was out in the field. Uh, we had a couple different people run it, and as you know, uh, not everybody on the squad is the same size. <laughs> uh, specifically, Wombat needed to pretty much cinch it all the way down, <laughs> but he's a little guy. Um, like I said before, uh, Imperial Paracord will set this up however you desire to have it set up. They have lots of different options. Uh, you just, you just uh, decide how you want it set up, and they'll do it for you. For lots of particulars, I'd like to give a shout out to Reality Survival, uh, JJ over there. Um, go ahead and reference his video as well. He did a similar video on this particular product, and I think that uh, you'll find a lot of good information in that one as well. And you know, you can uh, you can cross reference the two videos and and see uh, see how the two uh, perspectives stack up. That said, this was a quick look at the Imperial Paracord single point double point sling. pretty solid equipment overall. Buy another one. Uh, it almost worked.